Derek Fisher and Grant Hill. Here chasing him around the baseline screen and goes over the top and gets caught for doing it. And Brent, these two have matched up eight times in their career. And quite frankly, Georgia struggles shooting against Jamal Mashburn, was a great Hornet player. Grandma Ma, Larry Johnson, Larry John and, and CJ Miles yeah. knocks down the, the corner three. Maybe clearing the air a little bit, knowing he's going to be in Indiana for the rest of this year. Yeah, I think sometimes, guys, we've all been there before. When you hear your name in trade, you have to take a different approach. Good job by Thad Young to seal. C.J. Miles working his way into the paint. Kick out Paul George. That three on the way. There we go. And that was made and set up by C.J. Miles. Dribble penetration, drawing the defender. Because they're being aggressive in screen roll. The Pacers aren't getting a lot of penetration. Well, that's good ball movement. Monte Ellis relocating after throwing that whip pass to the left side. I think allowed the Pacers to continue to play and work their way back into that game. Against this Hornets team tonight, what we have to watch for is that they don't turn it over. You'll have fewer times to get yourself back into the game. Have felt in terms of pressure in the fourth quarter. Paul George seemingly getting it going here in the second. That time over MKG. And that's what Cody Zeller means to these Hornets. Paul George and, and drills. Oh, sorry, Grant, but Paul George drilling another three. In the last ten games, they played some of their best offense. <laughs> Tonight getting it done is Paul George again with a three. And, and Brent, that's the Pacers can just get any positive feedback here on this last possession that they can take into the locker room. And Paul George knocks that basket down. See if they can take that. As Miles knocks down a three, but don't give Indiana any life. Attack mode. This time to Turner. Turner the kick to Paul George. And that's Cap. And right now the Hornets, they have to be careful. Behind the back, Paul George, long ranger on the way. That's good. And here come the Pacers. Interesting here how Nate McMillan has gone with Akeem Christmas and Aaron Brooks here in this third quarter as opposed to Stuckey. And now he's getting his opportunities to play and he's ready and he's performing well as George knocks down the jumper. And that's what this league is about. Finds Christmas. Cody Zeller did not get off that double team fast enough, and Rakeem Christmas in the sweet spot to get the finish. A little bit delayed getting back to Zeller on the backside as Paul George knocks down the three. But that's the gift and the curse of being up higher on the screen roll. You open yourself up to some of the rolls and the three point shooting on the backside. Like he is on that last play. When he gets cooking, watch out. Defensively for the Hornets. Uh, Paul gets way open on the Baseline out of bounds, and that's a breakdown defensively for the Hornets. So it really is the voice.